Hello everyone, I'm Ashok Samuel Audit and I'm here to present to you our group project along with Saad Adam and Nahid Azad. This project was submitted to our Honorable Teacher, Chodhir Akram Hussain. So our project is about traffic light control system. We all know how a traffic light control system works. We use it every day, which is a necessity in our metro life. We use our knowledge of counter basic counters to implement a four-way traffic control system so the things we use are 7473 IC which is basically a dual check if we flop a triple five timer IC to generate pulses a 7408 IC which has a, a quad two input and gates a 240 volt AC to 5 volt DC power supply adapter was used to power up our project. There were also breadboards, resistors, capacitors, LEDs and wires. So this is our price list. Our whole project costed about 521 taka and the price of each component have been provided here. So the procedure. So what we basically did was uh, to design a 2-bit synchronous counter. For that we needed a we needed clock pulses and we used a triple five timer to ensure that and the triple five timer was set to its as stable mode which generates a stable frequency of waves and to implement the two bit counter synchronous counter there were two check if flip flops involved so let me demonstrate how our plan works so uh, there, uh, since this is a four-way intersection, there are four different steps. First of all, the roads one and two, the signals for roads one and two will go green. Uh, so generally, the other roads will have a red signal. Then, before the road, the signal for road one and two go red, there should be yellow signal. So in step two, we're providing a uh, yellow signal so the rest of the lights will stay the same as step one but there will be yellow signals on road one and two so this is our second step and then we have our third step in which the roads three and four go green and the rest of the roads are giving red signals then before one and two go red uh, sorry before road three and four go red there should be yellow signal so which is our step four and after that the roads three and four will go red and one and two will go green so which is basically our first step so after this step the step four our whole process begins from step one recycles back to its initial condition so let's take a look at our circuit diagram so this is our circuit diagram this is the actual simulation for the circuit that we implemented first we have the triple five timer which is set in its as stable mode we have used three capacitors and some resistance uh, to vary the time delay and since this is a synchronous counter the clock pulses for the both of the jig if the flop will be the same so the input for both of the clock pulses for the JK flip flops comes directly from the timer and the J1 K1 would be high and J2 K2 would be equals to Q1 so we did it here and the necessary connections for the LEDs were made as shown in the circuit diagram so now let's have a look at the truth table so this is a truth table each and every combination outputs and for which output which LED should be lit up is shown here as you can see there are four different stages of output since we needed four different steps we used a 2-bit counter which generates four different output combinations and after that which recycles back to its initial state so we can see this in the truth table and this is the actual truth table of the circuit that we implemented. So now let's have a look at our actual project.
so this is our final project and as you can see this right here is our triple five timer this is our 7473 IC which is the dual JK flip flop and this is our end gate so and we used some poster papers to illustrate the four-way intersection and underneath those papers there are some basic LED connections series connections so what we did here is we actually we're actually gonna light up these four lights when the combination with our counter circuit outputs double zero and zero one so they're gonna light up when our Q2 of the output from the 7473 is zero so you use the Q2 bar and connected a connection from Q2 bar to these four lights in series so that when Q2 bar is high these four lights will light up and then the before they go red there should be a yellow light so these two yellow lights will light up when the output combination is 0 1 so you use the an AND gate which is there to ensure that when the output which produces <coughs> 0 1 so our Q2 will be 0 and Q1 will be 1 so we used an AND gate and the equation will be Q2 and Q1 bar so from that output we used them to light up so after that these four lights will light up so when the output is one zero and one one these four lights will be on and before they go red these two yellow lights should be on so when the output is one one this yellow light should be on so we use again an AND gate to ensure that so when the Q2 is 1 and Q1 is 1 so the, uh, the equation will be Q2 Q1 Q2 dot Q1 and the output from the AND gate was connected to these two lights in series these two lights and when the output is 1 1 they would light up so let's see our project let's turn it on Uh, so this is our first state 0 0 then 0 1 1 0 1 1 then 0 0 again so as you can see after 1 1 the cycle recycles back to 0 0 and from that the same thing happens all over again uh, since this, this was a 2-bit counter this produces four different outputs from 0 0 to 1 1 so after that it recycles back so as we can see our project is properly wor working as we wanted it and yes that's it so this was our project the traffic light control system thank you everyone